99.7 DJX, the Ben Davis and Kelly K Show podcast. Turn it up. On demand. Ben Davis, Kelly K Show. Before we talk to Paul and bring him into this, uh, if you've ever got an issue and you just want the opinion of a bunch of other people, uh, our listeners, you can uh, shoot us a message and we'll toss it out to the group and see what we can do for you. And, you know, thinking about your exes, look, I didn't date a whole lot before I met my wife and we started dating. We had a long, um, we dated for five years before we ended up getting engaged and then married. Um, but I wouldn't say that I have any sort of animosity towards any of my exes. Um, I even went to one of my exes, uh, weddings and uh saw her get married so i had the mom of an ex-boyfriend at at my wedding yeah so i I mean i think having a healthy relationship with an ex is not necessarily a bad thing but um we'll find out what paul's issue is here when we talk to him here uh hey first of all good morning paul good morning how are you uh pretty good so why don't you walk us through what you wrote us okay um i'm driving myself crazy Uh uh-huh so, my girlfriend and I have been dating for a while, mm-hmm. um, and she is friends with all of her exes, oh. like all of them, and and not just friends, not like just Facebook friends or anything, but like friends, like she talks to them. Okay. And I, I, I don't, I don't talk to my exes. All my exes are, they're gone, they're exes. Yeah, they're exes for reasons. Right, exactly. So, they're not a part of my life at all, and... Here's the thing. Um, she has an ex that she dated for a while, mm-hmm. and he's coming into town, and he's going to stay with her for a week. Ooh. Ooh. And I, I'm not cool with that. And she, you know, she keeps saying, he's just a friend. That, like, we, we broke up six years ago. He's, you know, just, just a friend. I, I, I'm not cool with it. It's it's driving me nuts. I'm like, he's staying in your apartment, and he's also single. Yeah, that would raise some red flags for me. How how long did they date? Do you know? Uh, they dated for about two and a half years. Okay, and ended it about what six years ago? You said yeah, yeah, six years ago. So I don't know if I'm overreacting. If I have anything to worry about, if anybody else, maybe I'm the only one that doesn't, you know, hang out with their exes. I don't know. But it's it's driving me nuts. Yeah, I mean, I part of me is like, hey, you know what? A healthy relationship with uh, an ex isn't necessarily a bad thing. If if she and the other person is, you know, if they if they broke up mm-hmm. amicably, and that's a hard word for me to say. <laughs> um, <laughs> um, but yeah, I tell you what, we're getting a bunch of people texting in, and uh, you know, I think there are some red flags that are being thrown up, but we'll. We'll, we'll see what people have to say if you want to just hang out, okay? I appreciate it, man. All right, Mike uh, immediately just says, oh, hell no. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, yeah. And Michaela was like, uh, I just choked on my gum. <laughs> Lisa says, no, 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 heck no, sorry. That is too intimate. Is it just, yeah, I was going to say, is it just too close? Uh, well, yeah, like, you like, know like what, physically. I think maybe it- if she, well, yes, if she was living with her boyfriend, then he could stay with them and then he could be there and that's one thing but if he's if they're living apart yeah. she's got her own apartment and then boyfriend's going to go stay at her apartment yeah man yeah that's that's some interesting uh that's that's interesting and and I, well amy <laughs> amy said i stayed friends with my ex and now i have a 14 year old son oh all right with the ex okay so so things Things could happen if left unattended or unsupervised, yeah. uh, according to Amy. Okay. I don't know if anybody listening has a ex who they've been friends with for a long time and they realize maybe they dated and they realize, no, we're not good uh, as boyfriend, girlfriend. Maybe we're just better as friends and it's worked out and they're and, and they're together. I don't know. Maybe we need to hear from from you guys. Um, because everybody so far on our texting line is like, no, 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 Shut it down. Yeah. Shut it down. 
So Paul has an issue because his current girlfriend, he's dated a while, has been friends with her exes, including a guy that she dated for a couple years, about six years ago. And he's coming into town and going to stay with her about a week. Um, and he's all like, uh, I want to put my foot down and say, no, I, I like I'm my all my exes are exes for a reason. I don't I don't understand this. So most of the peanut gallery seems to be on board with that. Like your warning signals are are right mm-hmm. to be a little. Now, Kathy said. Uh, this happened to me recently. My boyfriend's ex-wife came to town to stay at his house, so I stayed with him. Mm-hmm. Now I know why they're divorced, LOL. I'm confident with myself, and now it's brought us closer because I realize he's just a nice guy letting her stay there while her mom was in the hospital, and his ex is crazy. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So she's like, eh, could just be, you know, she's being nice. Yeah, so I be. was curious because I, I, I mean, like we knew almost instantaneously when our text line just lit up with people going, "No, red flag, red flag, no, 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 no." Um, that that my husband is the, doing the same thing too. Yeah, yeah. He's <laughs> like, "Oh no, uh, dude needs to stay at the Holiday Inn." <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, don't you know, like, I, and and I, and it's even my own reaction. I'm like, that's a red flag. I'm like, man, that is just a little too tempting. You know, even though. You may trust her, and it's just like they're in the same apartment. I mean, it's like that. Yeah. I mean, I, even if you had the most trust in the world, that's that's still that's a tough pill to swallow. Uh, so, but I was, then we've got Angel that's going to lend more fear to that, saying, "Hi, I'm Angel. I just wanted to say, any boyfriend I've ever had, I'm still and still friends with. I always still got with them again. So basically, we just became friends with benefits." Ah, okay. Yeah, Taylor uh, oh, writes yeah. on Facebook, relationships are about respecting the other's boundaries. If that's how you feel, she should respect that. Um, yes. Okay, so Sandra, you are friends with all your exes. Uh, tell me about that. Well, I have exes. I have two or three exes that I'm still friends with that I, uh, that I actually associate with. And my, my current boyfriend actually associates with them, too. So I think maybe you're saying make sure that your the the boyfriend Paul is around these exes no. so no. so he feels comfortable with them? Yeah. He feels comfortable with them. Okay. Okay. Sandra, you do you. I like that. <laughs> I, mean, <laughs> I mean, I think it'd be tough for me, but uh, all right, I like it. Thank you for calling. Uh, you're welcome. Bye. Hey Chanel. I just separated from a current girlfriend, mm-hmm. but uh, it had nothing to do with my ex. But I've been friends with my ex for almost 30 years. And when we were together, we were together for 10 years. And we basically decided what you guys were talking about is that, um, you know, we, we were better off being friends. Mm-hmm. And when we decided to break up, we had a conversation that said uh, we both said we want each other in our lives. We love each other, you know, that yeah, type of thing. Just not that way. Right. Right. So did that, let, let me ask you, did that, did your friendship lead to any sort of issues with, you know, the people that you dated after? No, because um, when I dated people, I made it clear right off the bat that my best friend in life yeah. is my ex. Okay. And there's nothing, nothing between us. I yeah. trust her with everything, and um, and I just laid the ground rules right off the bat. And if they had a problem with it, then they can just move on. All right, thank you, Chanel. Got another one uh, from a listener. I have several exes that I'm dear friends with. Mm-hmm. One in particular. Depending on the relationship, I wouldn't worry. For us, it took the intimate part out of it. Right. He's even buddies with my ex with my husband now because he's such a kind person. We went to his wedding also. So I think. But the, here's the thing. There isn't like an established relationship already with Paul and the ex-boyfriend because he lives out of town. Right. So I absolutely think if they're even going to entertain this, you know, Paul's got to be in the picture all the time. Yeah. Like I like the idea of maybe Paul's like, hey, can I uh, be a roommate that week, too? 
and yeah. and just kind of be there. And because again, it's about the boundaries and respecting those. If, yeah. if Paul's feeling uncomfortable about it, she needs to respect oh that. My gosh, I <laughs> just just being on a fly on the wall. If that is to happen, man, that is that is interesting. But anyways, all right. Well, uh, so I think I think Paul were saying, um, yes, keep that like red flag detector high. But maybe invite yourself to stays too. And if she says no, because it shouldn't be an issue, right? Right. And so if she says no, then maybe you put your foot down and say, no, holiday in. I don't know. Is that is that accurate? Is that a good way to go? Maybe. I, I think, yeah. I think all of these things. We we tossed out a lot of things to Paul. Yeah. And I you know, he's gotta now apply like this because we honestly don't know the dynamic. It doesn't sound like he's ever met the guy before. Right. right it's right. been six years. Okay. So I think he needs to just be like, I'm super uncomfortable. Here's yeah. the way that the only way this will work is if I'm staying there too. Yeah. Okay. Otherwise he gotta go to the holiday inn. <laughs> That's right. All right. If you're in a spot and you can't chime in, that's cool. Just go back to Facebook at Ben and Kelly show. You can uh, read all the replies. You can put your own there uh, at Ben and Kelly show.